back to We Play Family, and today we're making a Tinker Crate from KiwiCo. So, so what do you like most about these cool uh, KiwiCo Tinker Crates, Hunter? I just love everything about it. I love how you build it all by yourself, and that comes with everything you need. Right, so if you guys have children, you know, around the ages of 8 to 10, the Tinker Crate that we have, that's a good option. They also have other options on here for different age groups. Like, you know, they'll have the Panda one, the Koala, Kiwi, Atlas, Doodle. We got the Tinker because you get to build stuff. Doodle, you get the draw, you get the map. You have a Maker and a Eureka. As he gets older, he'll move and progress into the Maker and Eureka. But if you guys have a kid around the age of 8 or 9 years old, we highly suggest these Tinker Crates. I think they're only $20 a month. It's not that bad to build something cool with one of your kids. Mm -hmm. So, Hunter, why don't you tell me which one we're going to be building today? Um, today we're going to be building an arcade catapult. A catapult? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. So what we're going to do is we're going to have him go ahead and open up this one and we'll see what we're going to do from here. The first thing you get, which is pretty cool, when you open it up, is you get the what, Hunter? Instructions. These are very important. You will need these to build this. Because what happened last time you didn't use the instructions, Hunter? I tried using the instructions, but I didn't read it all the way. I looked at the pictures and went off of that. So, so the important thing is to what? Read it and look at the pictures. <laughs> and do it right. And it also comes with one of these. Um, so the Tinker Zine is a magazine showing you all about science. And, um, it has a little cool activity in there that you could do. It has a whole bunch of cool little stuff. How to make your own thing. Make your own, uh, this one here is like make a craft stick catapult. So you make a catapult out of old, those are those little tongue sticks to get the doctor, right? Mm-hmm. And some rubber bands. And then they'll show you how to make, you know, the catapult to score in like a basketball hoop. So that's pretty cool. You can do a bowling one. You get a rubber band bowling game. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh. And this is for all the old people out there. It even teaches you how to make a paper football. That's pretty cool. Well, I never heard of a paper football. Are you serious? You've never heard of a paper football? Nope. No. What? Where have I gone wrong with you? I don't know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, Hunter, so let's go ahead and get in here and let's see what we got here. Now, I have no idea what we're going to do with this piece of Swiss cheese. Are we going to make Connect Four? I don't know, but based on the back of this. Or is it like tic tac toe? It should look like this. Well, we can't tell them that. You got to yeah. guess. Yeah. I'm not sure of them. All right, well, you get the next thing. I'll open this one up for you. You get the other one. Okay. Looks like we're getting plastic balls. So you got a pack of plastic balls. What else do we got? Um, we got, looks like, sticker things. Oh, we got nuts and, ball, nuts and a holder. If it has wood, you know it's great. We'll, see, we'll, leave, we'll leave the balls packaged up for now. And it also comes with snacks. Oh, yes. Don't you also get a dry erase marker. I wonder what that's for. I have no idea. Well, let's keep looking. Oh, we got some more build pieces. We got sticker colors. I wonder what this is for. Got... Okay, there's gonna be a bunch of pieces we're gonna end up losing. Oh, more snacks! Oh, what's in here? Oh, we got one of these. Just pull that back up. Yeah, let's go ahead and close that for now. Oh, this is cool. Looks like a scoreboard. 
outside <laughs> of a box, I can't get out. And that's pretty cool. Let's set that to the side for now so we can finish building all this other stuff. Okay, I'm going to put this back in here. Okay. We'll get the foam pieces out. But... Oh man, it looks like we've got rubber bands. Oh, oh look, honey. Foam eyebrows. So I got all your foam pieces out of here. Jeez, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, here's the little band. So we got all this stuff kind of laid out somewhat here. Well, open up. Let's read the first step. Okay. Oh, we'll have room because I'll just hold that over here. And we got our stack of plates over here. Oh, right off the back. Okay. Let's fold it in half. That way we can focus on one little thing at a time. We can flip it open, put the clothes. Okay. Okay. So the first thing, what are we doing? We're going to be grabbing. Where is that piece? This piece here? The wood piece? Yes. We're going to need this piece. And we're going to need this piece. So we're going to need these two pieces? Yep. Okay. What are we going to do with these two pieces? Um. Got teeth. <laughs> okay. So we're going to put this in here. And then put the teeth part in. Two. Okay, let's just start off with putting the teeth part in. Okay, the teeth part are in. Wow, it's kind of hard. You need, you need some adult supervision? <laughs> yes. Okay. It's always good to have adult supervision. So we got that part done. Okay. Um, step two. We're going to need these stickers. Stickers? Already? Yeah. And we're gonna bend these over. Um Let's see, fold. Yes. Fold the tabs over so they lay flat yes. on the wood. Then use the yellow circle stickers to hold them in place. Okay, hand me a yellow circle sticker. Stick it. Alright. See, um, um, I guess we'll put one on this yeah. little part there. That's how we're supposed to do it. That's what it says to do? Yep. All right, cool. And then we'll put another one on this little side over here. Oh. We don't want to go in the hole. You have really bad aim. <laughs> I know. Okay. And then put one on that one. Okay. Okay, I'll smooth all this out so hopefully it sticks. Okay, so we got this part done. Now, what is step three? Um, we're going to need this piece. This piece? Yes. Okay, it looks like a sticky piece of tape. What do we do? Um, we're going to peel these off. So you're gonna peel these sticky pieces off? Yes. All right, you tell me what to do. Finally, it is finished. Okay, so now what do you do? Um, we're going to need to put this piece over all the sticky tape pieces. Okay. So we're going to do it carefully, right? So it lines up yes. and it doesn't look ugly? It's not a race on doing these, right? Mm-hmm. And I learned that on my first one because I just wanted to get it done. And it turned out looking all poopy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I think she's stuck to it. Yep. So this is how it should probably look, don't you think? Yes. 
Yeah, they stick it. I think so. Okay. Now, looks like we got step five. We're gonna need this. Oh no. Already? Yes, already. Okay, we need sticky foam. Oh. So we need these? Yes. Are these, these are sticky foams? Yes, those are sticky foams. Okay. And then we're going to need to put it on the part where the sticky foam says. And this is another part where, like, Kiwi Cup. They um, put where you need to put the stuff. Yeah, it's so pretty you cool. Don't mess up. Like you were saying, it's pretty cool. If you can see, it has all the little outlines to where to stick it. That way, you don't get confused. It's just already shown to you. Sticky time! Oh, looks like we're gonna have to open the box back up. Open the box back up? Yep. Why we open the box back up? Because we're gonna need this piece. The scoreboard? No, not the scoreboard. The thing that's holding the scoreboard. Oh. We're gonna need to put. Okay, I'm gonna set this right here. Another cool thing is they give you a couple extra pieces in case you mess up. Mm hmm That's really good. Okay. And, um... Okay, there you go. Now, what's our next step? Our so next... So, it should be looking like this, right? Yep, it should be looking like that. Now, we need to... Lock. Now, we're going to need big... Big pieces. And peel the sticky part off. Hey, Hannah. I'm Frankenstein. <laughs> Ooh. And you're gonna need to put it where it says the sticky foam. Should go. I don't know about you, but it kind of looks like one of those games where you bowl it. And then sees which one it goes in. Oh, I guess we're gonna figure it out, aren't we? Yep. Step eight. Great. Uh oh. You got more stickers? Okay. Okay. So we're gonna need the holes. Okay, we got two squares. large holes. We got two small holes. Oh, and uh, this is good because. See. But I think we should, okay, now. So I need to have a green one. <coughs> so I need the small green and the small orange. Okay, it should look like this. So to get all your stickers on, it should look something like this. So what's our next step, Hunter, after we got all of our circles done? We're going to need to put the gray eyebrows on the bottom of these. On the bottom? Okay. Hand me some eyebrows. Let me show you. Show, okay, show me how to put one on there. You put it on like this. Oh, I think I can do that. Yeah. Let's see if, see if one of these all these dads out there can figure this out. I'm gonna go for the small one. So I'm gonna take this and I'll put it on the bottom of it. What if I put it on top? Um, we'll just flip it over. Dang it! You're too smart, Hunter. So you're gonna say it looks something like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we got these two done, right? Yeah. So when they're all said and done, they should look something like that. Okay, so what you're gonna do is put one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. Then we're gonna need. Put them on the rock. <laughs> Let me put them on our own. It's 
supposed to be green. What the color? Does it doesn't matter what color goes on there? <laughs> no, not really. Can I put your big one on there? And we'll put this one on there. So it looks something like that, huh? Yep. Ooh, and you can rearrange it however you want to. So then we can do something like this. We take this one and move it over here. And put one down there at the bottom. Oh, and if you fail, it just puts one down here and takes it over here. Yeah. So you make you can change the game up a little bit and make it different style. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Now the second part of the instructions. Step B, which is Build the catapult. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, Hunter. We're going to need to use So I have still probably need these pieces. Um, yep, yeah, we'll need those pieces. And then we'll kinda need cur well we need the these on the first step. Okay. okay, so read it and tell me what it's supposed to do. Grab a side piece and push a bolt through the middle hole. Twist an orange spacer onto it. Okay, so it's showing it like this, so make sure we do it like a picture. I twist it on there. And that's what it should look like. Oh, okay. And then we're going. And then we're going to gouge our eyes out. In anger. Oh no! Oh no! Because now we got to deal with these little wooden pieces and these two pieces. Okay, so I have to grab this piece. Now what's now what do I do next? Um, you're going to want to put a hole in there to make it easier. Okay, a spacer. Put a washer in there. Then you're going to want to do this. Hold on. I think we did it the wrong way. Okay, it's supposed to go like this. I don't know. Okay, it will build this way. Okay, and then this one goes like this. And another one. No spacer? Okay. And then we're going to need to put another. Circle. Another washer. And then we put what? We put that on there. And then we put a bolt through it. One of those screws in there? Yep. I don't know if this is going to catapult. It doesn't look very catapulty. Oh, yeah! Oh, look, it walks. So what's the next thing we gotta do? Um, the launcher should be like this. Okay. In the middle. And then we gotta put these in here like this. Is that what step two, step three says to do? Yep. Um, then we gotta put another one through. Another one over there? Yep. Okay. Ah! The legs fell off. You didn't see that. <laughs> it never happened, okay? You just look away. Okay, so now we got that. What do you do after that? Um. We got one more left over. Does that go anywhere? Should be like this. Yep. Okay. And you sure we don't put one at the bottom end of it? Like the picture says? Oh yeah, we need to do that. Mm -hmm. Starting to look like a catapult. Catapult death. We're gonna launch these little plastic balls into outer space. Ooh. And then just... And then people at NASA are like, Oh my goodness, what is that, a comet? <laughs> And then the, the police and the FBI are going to show up to our house and be like, why are you guys launching meteors in outer space? We're not. They're just, they're just little yellow balls. We didn't do it. Kiwiko made us. <laughs> they sent us the tinker crate. 
So now that we have it all together, is that what your sugar looks like? Um, yes. Like that? Well, it doesn't matter what side it's on. Okay. It just matters if it looks like this. <coughs> okay, so what does step four say to do? Ooh, we're going to need to use the rubber bands now. Oh, great. So where are I going to put this rubber band at? Okay, now we space it up. Okay. Well, wouldn't it be easier to put a rubber band on and then space it up? Yeah, it would. So I just did this and then put a rubber band on there. And then we're going to space it up so I could find the holes a lot easier. Like that? Yep. Okay, so now we need these two pieces? Looks like it. Well, read it. What's it say? Um, read step five out. Slide the larger brace into the laundry pieces so it shifts together. Okay. Get in the pole. Good job. You did it. I did it. I'm so smart. Now, what does step six say to do? Pull the rubber band forward and hook it around the tab. This will secure the brace. No. Like that on top of it, right? Yeah, it looks like it should look like that. Yep, right on top of it. Okay. But it also. Now, what step seven say to do? Step seven: slide another rubber band onto the other end of the launcher pe pieces until two, until it lines up with the two small notches. Okay. Into the notches. All right, got the notches. Now what? Okay. Step eight. Push your smaller brace into the other <sighs> end of the launcher pieces so it slit. Just in the agonizing pain, like that. Yes. Okay. Now what do I do? Step nine. Pull the rubber band up and hook it around. Like the last time? Yeah. Like that? Yep. Okay. Then what do I do? Step 10, take the launcher pieces down so the end line pushes. Oh, okay. No! No! Almost launched our van in outer space. <laughs> okay, it's so like that, right? Mm hmm. And then it should do this. Cut the bolt! So saying when we're all said and done, we should have a rubber band go on the top here and around the back of this piece. Mm -hmm. And on the top of this one, around the back underneath and back on top over here. Yeah. And then a rubber band all the way around all these little notches right here, right? Yes. So it should look something like that. Okay. Ooh. Let's see what's on the back of the blueprint. It's upside down. Now what does it say for us to do? High five, you made an arcade catapult. Oh, they said high five. Yeah. Oh, place your catapult a few inches away from. And so now you want a ball? Yep, you want a ball. All right, here's your ball. Aim it and fire it. Cue dramatic music. Oh, man. Your turn, James. Ready? Catapult! Woo! I made one! First try. Okay. So, when they're all said and done, the catapult should look something like this, right? Yeah. That's pretty neat. So, to this arcade catapult tinker set from Kiwi, what do you think about it? I love it. It's do you think everybody else out there will love it? Yes, because if your sister, sister or brother is being annoying, the ultimate weapon. <laughs> yep, so this is Hunter and James. We just want to say thank you for watching this video from KiwiCo on our new Tinker set. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Catapult!